Hey everybody, Pastor Will here from First Centenary, and I wanted to take a moment to bring you a, a devotion for the week from, from home. Uh, before we dive into the devotion though, I want to remind you that this Sunday, April 26th, and next Sunday, May 3rd, we will not be worshiping in person. We will continue our digital worship services and we're not sure when that is coming back under the direction of our bishop and in consultation with the mayor's office, uh, we're, we're working on what is a safe return to in-person worship. So Pastor Mark or I, one, will update you each week as to where we're going and we're trying to make a call uh, about every two weeks on that. And so I just wanted to let you know that for this Sunday, as well as May 3rd, we will not be worshiping in person, but we will continue our online digital worship services. You can find those at firstcentenary.com slash media or uh, via our Facebook page and would love for you to worship with us this Sunday. Uh, welcome to Christina and I's uh, kitchen, uh, dining room uh, slash workspace. This is where we've been working at home for the last few weeks. And I don't know about you, but, but being home more often during the day has allowed me to, to see my house in a, in a new light. Uh, there's, there's something really cool about the way that, that light enters uh, buildings at different times during the, during the days. Uh, at, at seminary, when I was at Duke, there was a stained glass window at the top of the steps. It was a, a, a representation of the Holy Spirit. And when you graduated, you received a piece of that stained glass window in the form of a cross uh, that they would give to each graduating class, a, a different color from that window representing their class. And uh, my class got a purple cross when we, when we graduated. And every day when I was walking into class, I would look at that window at different times and I would see the light coming through and, and shining in different colors. And when Christine and I have been sitting in our, our kitchen and living room, working together side by side, uh, trading off who's on conference calls. It's been neat to watch the, the light come through the kitchen window or the, or the living room or the dining room and to watch how that lights up the room. And I just wanna give you a word of scripture uh, this day and, and hope that it will encourage you to find light in your life and to share that light with others. This is from Matthew's gospel, the fifth chapter. You are the light of the world. A city on top of a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, they put it on top of a lampstand and it shines for all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people so they can see the good things you do and praise your Father who is in heaven. I wanna encourage you that when you're working at home or, or maybe you're, you're still going into a, a, an office or a workplace and, and you are working on the front lines of, of recovery and of ministry in this world, whenever you see light coming through a window right now, I want you to give thanks to God for that light in the world and ask God how you might be a part of his light in the lives of others. Will you pray with me? God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word and your call for each of us to live as lights in this world. Send your spirit upon us. And in these trying times, times of, of physical uh, distancing and separation, times of, of job loss, of sickness, and of even death, may we seek to be your light and offer your light to all that we meet in this world. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless, and we'll see you next week.